everybody, it's Michelle. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys all had a great week. It's the weekend, I'm so excited. I appreciate you joining me so much because today we're gonna to be talking about some of my favorite OG kind of old school type makeup products that I have used and loved for years and years and years. The drugstore seems to have some really good products that have been around forever and a day that I still love, that I still use. And there's definitely some higher end things that have been out there that are kind of deemed classics that I absolutely still use and love to this day. So if you'd like to see what's in this big old basket of OG makeup, keep on watching. So first up, let's talk foundation. I wanted to first mention the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, a staple at the drugstore. It's been at the drugstore for years and years for good reason. It's got great coverage. This says 24 hour coverage. It comes in an array of colors. It's great for so many different skin types and skin tones. It leaves a great finish, good medium to full coverage. And I think that that's why so many people have loved this. So Revlon Color Stay, Definitely, definitely a staple in my collection. The other one I wanted to mention, but I don't have it, I think it was actually in my recent empties, but I've not repurchased, is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. That is another staple that I have used for years and years. So many people love it. Again, great quality, great finish. It doesn't oxidize, it lasts all day. It looks so pretty on so many different skin types and skin tones, and I know that again, it's a favorite among so many people. For concealer, I had to mention this. I mean, this is a no-brainer. This is by Maybelline, and this is the Instant Age Rewind. I had this in my, um, in my collection for probably two years. I remember it kind of dried up, and then I went ahead and bought a new one recently. This is a brand new one. I have the color, this is the Neutralizer, and I think why it is so popular and why everyone loves it, it's because it is a really nice, lightweight concealer. It's not heavy, it's not cakey, but it gives such great coverage. It is so, so nice. It lasts, it doesn't settle into the fine lines. It really works well with so many different foundations and that's why I personally love it. I really like it for the, um, the applicator as well. It has a sponge tip applicator. Super easy to use. It is so, so nice. So definitely, definitely recommend. If you guys have never tried this, you are missing out. For powders, I have two of these. And you know what, both of them I have talked about until I'm pretty much blue in the face on my channel. These are tried and true products that I literally have used for five, 10, 15, 20 years, maybe more. I don't know, I have bought countless amounts of powder from both of these brands. First one being, this is from Neutrogena and these are the Mineral Shears compact foundation. Look at this, I just hit pan on this again. I mean, this is a staple in my collection. I use this on my really light kind of no makeup days when I'm running out the, the door to go to the grocery store or to go pick up the kids or whatever. This is perfect for my skin. I get the color Classic Ivory. It's the perfect skin tone. It's not too powdery. It doesn't give that powdery, cakey finish. It melds with my skin. I love, love this so much. Literally, I probably bought 50 of them. Seriously. Every time it's out, I panic and I'm like, oh my God, I need to go get another one. Same thing with this guy right here. You know, you may notice that it's in kind of a different packaging. This is from the brand Rimmel and it is in a different packaging because I bought this one in Canada last year when I was up there at their drugstore. I never saw this type of packaging. This is actually clear radiance. I didn't even know that they had that. Um, this supposedly is to help clear up your broken out skin, but it's the same formula. It is the uh, trans, let's see, 001 transparent. It is just a perfect finishing powder. It is so lightweight. It goes on so nice and silky. I use it all over. I don't mind using it under my eyes. It is that all around classic powder that everyone can use. It comes in different colors. I actually like the transparent one just because 
I feel like it doesn't add any color to my foundation. So, you know, sometimes I will just use it with a powder puff and kind of puff it all around. Most of the time I like to take a brush and just kind of pounce it and then put it, put it all over after I use my foundation. So now we're going to move on to blushes. And y'all, I have so many here, but they're all so good. First, I wanted to talk about these Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. These are so good. They are so inexpensive at your drugstore. They're amazing. The first color I have is Rose Champagne, and it does not look like much in the pan, but this is such a pretty natural flush of color to your skin. It is so pretty. I also have this one that I really like too. This is in the color Fantastic Plastic Pink, and this is such a pretty kind of a bubblegum pink. It does, if you look closely, it has little, little speckles of glitter, but don't let that fool you or don't let that shy you away. You can never see, or I can never see any of the sparkles on your cheek. This just kind of gives that coming in from the cold pink flush to your cheeks. It is so pretty. It is so natural. I love this and I will always have this in my collection. Another blush that I love is also from the drugstore, and this is from Revlon. This is the color Naughty Nude, and what a beautiful color. I mean, again, it looks very similar to the Rose Champagne from Wet n Wild, but I don't know what it is about these kind of brownie, taupey, neutral color blushes. They just look so pretty and natural on the skin. I love this. This has a slight sheen to it. So it's almost like a blush combined with a really light highlighter. It gives great dimension to your skin. It's almost kind of like a, a pinky bronzer. It is beautiful. I love this color. Um, and again, this is called Naughty Nude by Revlon. Another similar color that I want to mention is from MAC. This I have had in my collection, again, for so many years. This is Warm Soul. I'm sure you guys have heard so much about it. Again, it doesn't look like much in the pan, but when you put it on, it just like brightens up your face. It's so pretty. This has a little bit of a gold kind of sheen shimmer running through it. So, so pretty. Ugh, Warm Soul is a classic through and through. Another classic that I could not miss mentioning is NARS Orgasm. Of course, this kind of just started it all off with the higher end makeup for me. When I heard about NARS Orgasm like 10 years ago, I don't even remember, I was like, yeah, I don't know what that goodness is, but I need it in my life. And that really, really just cinched it for me loving the NARS line. This is a beautiful, universal pink that seriously looks good on almost every skin tone. I don't care if you're the fairest of the fair or the darkest of the dark, this looks so pretty on every skin tone. It does have kind of a gold reflect running through it. It is beautiful. It is a staple in my collection and I love, love, love this so much. So I couldn't talk about OG blushes without, of course, mentioning CoverGirl blushes, y'all. <laughs> I love CoverGirl blushes. I actually recently just bought this on the recommendation of Emily Noel. She mentioned these in her favorites video of the year. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have not tried these for years. But I went ahead and picked one up and boy, she was not mistaken. I have the color here, Purely Plum. And what... A beautiful, beautiful blush. I have been loving this so very much. It has kind of a highlight color, a mid color, and then a darker color. You're supposed to kind of layer them on your cheeks. But what I like to do, I like to just swirl them all around and put them on. And it gives me such a beautiful pinky, just again, natural, just a glow, kind of like a rosy glow. It is so pretty. It's so natural. This was like $5 at Walmart. You cannot beat it. The other classic blushes that of course I had to mention, I have talked about these again so many times on my channels, but for good reason. These 
have that classic kind of Noxzema CoverGirl smell that just bring me back to my youth. Y'all, these have been around forever. Like I remember, I remember having these and looking at these when I was in my teens, my 20s, my 30s. These have been around for so long. They come in four different colors. This is the classic color blush. This one is in rose silk. Such a beautiful color. This one is an iced plum. Really, really nice, especially kind of for the fall and winter. This one is in the color Natural Glow. And my favorite is, of course, Soft Minks. You guys, I put this on and I'm like, <gasps> I feel like my skin just lights up. This color you must try. Out of any of this stuff, if you don't have it, Soft Minks, I promise you, if you just like that natural glow with a little bit of shimmer, it's not too crazy, it's not too highlightery, it is just beautiful. It's perfect. This is my favorite by far. I love them all. CoverGirl does blushes right. Next up, we've got lipsticks. I wanted to talk about this classic from Revlon, y'all. This has been around literally for, I don't know, 20, 30 years. This is called Cherries in the Snow. This is the perfect pinky red. I mean, this color would look stunning on anyone. And I think that that is why it's been around so long. This is so pretty. It looks kind of pink in some light. It looks kind of red in some light. It looks good on so many different skin tones. It is gorgeous. It smells good. This is a classic through and through, and I I love this. MAC lipsticks, I mean, hello, MAC lipsticks are so classic. There are so many classic colors out there, but I have two right here that I wanted to talk to you about. First one is Snob. What a beautiful pink. I really like to wear this in the spring. So, so looking forward to bringing that out. What a beautiful light pink classic color. Max Snob is amazing. They smell so good. And then the other one, what a classic. This is Mac Whirl. Holy moly, what a beautiful neutral kind of nudie brown. This is gorgeous. I love to wear this in the fall. Again, such classic colors. Mac has so many of them. The red, the ruby woo. There's just almost too many to mention. The last lipsticks I wanted to mention, I've kind of talked about in recent videos. I feel like I have used these for, again, 20 years. They kind of lost popularity and then, you know, the whole liquid lipstick trend came out and there were so many coming out that I couldn't even keep up with them all. And these kind of went to the back burner as I was trying out so many new long wear liquid lipsticks. But I have to say, I've been wearing these again recently and I remember why I love them so much. If you don't like the long wear lipsticks, you may not like these because these are somewhat drying. But I have to say, when you put these on in the morning, they will still be on at night when you are about to, you know, wash off your face. These last so long. They're so comfortable for me. These are the CoverGirl Outlast li liquid lipsticks. I don't even know if I mentioned these. These are total holy grail lipsticks for me, and I will always, always buy them. Lastly, I've got some eyeshadow palettes that, of course, I wanted to mention. First up being the Physician's Formula. This is the Quad. Again, I think I had this in college. I recently bought this because I'm like, I need some good basic colors. This is in the color, let's see, Canyon Classics. These are great matte colors, great transition colors. This is a great palette, say if you're, you know, running to the gym and you want to you go out afterwards or just, you know, a good palette to use with some shimmery shades. It is a great matte palette, good quality. The shadows are a little bit powdery, but overall the quality is amazing. I love Physicians Formula and I think that that is a great staple for anyone's collection. And then of course, I could not mention this guy right here. This is in the original packaging. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the Comfort Zone palette. <laughs> I think when I was getting into makeup, 
probably like eight or so years ago on YouTube, everyone was talking about this palette. And I was like, Wet n Wild? Don't they sell like dollar makeup? I never got into Wet n Wild until this guy, everyone was talking about Comfort Zone. And I'm like, okay, it's $5. How bad can it be? So I bought it. And again, that just kicked off my love for Wet n Wild. They are so good. The quality is amazing. I love most of their products. This is just such a classic. This one color, it's that transforming color. So pretty. I know that they have kind of the new packaging and the layouts now, but I kind of hang on to this one just for sentimental reasons. I mean, the packaging is all cracked and stuff, but this is a good one. So if you need a great quality, affordable palette, this is definitely your guy. The second to last palette that I wanted to talk to you about is the Naked 3 from Urban Decay. Again, I had one, two, and three, but this one I felt I just used the most. This is such a classic, beautiful, beautiful colors. Like, I don't even know if I could get rid of it. Um, I don't use it a whole lot anymore, but that's not to say that the colors are not still relevant. They are. It's just, I, you know, tend to gravitate towards different things. But Naked 3 is definitely a classic. And then, of course, we have to talk about the Chocolate Bar Too Faced palette. This is a classic in anyone's collection. Y'all, I have the old packaging. I don't use this anymore, but I have the old packaging, the original packaging. When this first came out, as you can tell, it is thicker. I think the newer packaging is much thinner. This is so pretty. That's just, oh, it brings back so many good memories. It actually still smells like chocolate. Such great basic colors. So pretty, great quality. I remember the smell of chocolate was so novel at the time. I actually just keep this one for sentimental reasons. I, you know, probably could say the same for this one as well, and this one too. So, so many great palettes, so many great basics. If you don't have them, you definitely should check them out. They're all still for sale. They're all still so good, and I really, really recommend them all. So that wraps it up for my classic makeup, my OGs, my classic makeup favorites. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these things and if they are your classic favorites too, I would love hearing from you, of course, as always. So leave me comments down below. Leave me recommendations too. I would love to hear from you. What are your favorites? What are the things that you constantly buy over and over again? I would love to hear from you. As you may know, I have like a little list in my phone. I've got like a notepad in my phone that I keep track of all of your recommendations. So when I'm online shopping or I go into the stores, I pull up the list and I check things out myself because I feel like this is a two-way street, you know? I feel like you guys help me as much as I hopefully help you. So with that, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I will see you next week in another video. I appreciate you joining. Have a good one and I'll talk to you soon.